Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Lithography Machines, the crown jewel of semiconductor manufacturing. Why does China have to make them by itself? Whenever this topic is brought up, someone will always ask, why not just buy it? Why bother? But in reality, High-end technology is not something you can buy with money. Especially for hardcore equipment like lithography machines, the whole world is watching. Once the United States blocks it, we can only stare blankly. The long-term technological blockade faced by China's semiconductor industry has made China understand that independent research and development of lithography machines is not an option, but a necessity. Today, let's talk about this topic and see how China is striving forward on this thorny road. First of all, we have to figure out what a lithography machine is. Simply put, a lithography machine is like a super precise printer that prints circuit diagrams on silicon wafers and eventually makes chips. Everyone knows how powerful chips are these days. They can be found in mobile phones, computers, cars, and even refrigerators. The technical level of lithography machines directly determines the sophistication of chips. However, such important equipment is firmly controlled by several large companies, the most famous of which is ASML in the Netherlands. Speaking of ASML, it is simply a giant in the lithography industry. Their EUV lithography machines are top-notch and in short supply worldwide. However, in order to maintain its leading position in science and technology, the United States has imposed endless export restrictions on high-end lithography machines. Although ASML is not an American company, its technology involves patents from many countries. Once restricted, it is almost impossible for China to buy such top equipment. Faced with this situation, China can only find another way and independently develop lithography machines. Some people may ask, can we develop such complex equipment? In fact, this is not hopeless. Recall that our country has also faced technological blockades in the fields of aerospace and high-speed rail but finally achieved breakthroughs. Although lithography machines are difficult, they are not insurmountable. Peter Winnick, CEO of ASML, also said that China's independent development of lithography machines is a reasonable choice in the face of purchase restrictions. This is not only because of purchase restrictions, but also because independent research and development can bring more technical accumulation and talent training, which is of great benefit to the long-term development of the entire industry. At this point, we have to mention China's specific progress in the independent research and development of lithography machines. In recent years, China has achieved some remarkable results in lithography machine technology. For example, the Institute of Microelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment Company, Limited have made major breakthroughs in 193 nanometers immersion lithography machines. Although there is still a gap with ASML's top equipment, these progress undoubtedly give people hope. The independent research and development of lithography machines is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a strategic decision. For a long time, 
China has been heavily dependent on external technology in high-end chip manufacturing, which has also led to China's disadvantageous position in international scientific and technological competition. Once China can achieve autonomy in lithography machine technology, it will not only greatly reduce its dependence on the outside, but also occupy a more favorable competitive position in the global semiconductor industry. However, any technological breakthrough will have an impact on the global industrial chain. In the short term, China's breakthrough in lithography machine technology may break the existing market balance and trigger a series of chain reactions. But in the long run, this breakthrough will promote the advancement and diversification of global semiconductor technology. As the saying goes, rising water lifts all boats, China's technological progress will also drive the optimization and upgrading of the global industrial chain. In this process, Huawei, as a globally influential enterprise, has attracted much attention for its development in the field of lithography. Huawei is not only a user of chips, but is also likely to become an important promoter of lithography technology research and development. Faced with changes in the international situation, Huawei needs to make many considerations. Its choice is not only related to its own development, but will also have a profound impact on the future pattern of the global semiconductor industry. However, the road to independent research and development of lithography is not smooth. Technical challenges, financial pressure, and lack of talent are all difficulties that must be faced. But just like China's achievements in other high-tech fields, as long as China concentrates its superior resources, strengthens its beliefs, and overcomes one difficulty after another, it will surely usher in a bright future. In summary, independent research and development of lithography is not only a technical battle, but also a strategic decision concerning the future development of the country. On this thorny road, China needs not only technological breakthroughs, but also the joint efforts and firm beliefs of the whole society. Scientific and technological innovation has no borders, but independent innovation is the only way to the future. It is hoped that through global cooperation and competition, the power of science and technology will continue to bring more possibilities to the world.